What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so yeah, the last episode was just... what the hell? Like seriously, I... oh god. It's, got, it, it's gotten real interesting in the last few episodes, and I'm just like excited for more. Like, is it weird for me that I want more on this? I mean, god dang. Okay, so here we are in Cerulean City. And we're going to be taking a tour. Uh, again, all surprises are on the way. I haven't talked to anybody or, didn't, or gone into the Pokemon Center, so let's go right in and talk to this guy. And this guy's like, Kanto's Power Plant, it's near Route 9. The, let's see, I think there was an incident, accident of some sort there. Okay. And there's a notice here, the bike shop has moved to Goldenrod, so there's nothing there. And Slowbro, yeah, okay, so nothing right there. I'm a huge fan of Cerulean City's Misty, so let's see. I'm assuming that they kept with the same storyline right here. Let's see. Nobody's here. Yeah, nobody is in here, and... Yes, yeah, so we're gonna jump in here. Okay, so you can't... You, like, it, it detects what, what's down there. It's just we have to follow by we have to follow the storyline right here. So of course here we are in Cerulean City. Nobody's in there right now, and yeah, we're gonna have to just uh, dive right in. Let's see, talk to this guy. So happy, has been lives happily with the Pokemon. He got through trades. This one is a Kangaskhan. That one is a Pidgey. Okay. And well, let's see. Any surprises in round four? Nope, it's the same old BS. Okay, so nothing right there. So, the, in the last episode, I also mentioned, too, that I'm going to have to start, you know, assembling a team to finish this whole thing off because, of course, we just took on the developers of this game, and they were friggin' strong. They were strong as hell. Nearly, like, I used up all my, uh, my, my max revive, so now, yeah, we're going to have to, like... We're really gonna have to uh, fight for that one. It's like the Cape is north. Uh, let's see, the Cape is north is a good place for dates. The girls like it. And notice here, stamp out thievery and make the city a friendlier and more cheerful place. Really, in police. So what is this? Let's see. Obviously, this is the place that they got robbed. Yeah, they were held up by robbers. Heard some shady character skulking around. Okay, so yeah, they're following the same storyline right here. And talk to this kid. Have you ever found yourself up against Pokemon which have high special attack? They can cause a real problem in a battle. So I came up with this idea. It's called Light Screen. You want to try it out? Yeah, I already have Light Screen, so that's not needed. And let's see, this is a new house right here. Giggle, I collected a ton of stickers. I wish I could show them off. And come to the right place, see the stickers. I bet you want to show them. Sticker, if you tell me something awesome about yourself. Okay, so I got two. Okay, we got a sticker right there. Let's see, hold on. Eggs. Okay, so we got two stickers right there. And you can just go onto your uh, trainer card and just check them out on the top corner right there. I think we need one more, just don't know what it is. I think it's a defeating red or something, I don't even know. So, there is a shady character around here. And dude needs stones. He will sell us a water stone. And, uh, let's see, I think there's some guy, there's a guy in Goldenrod that sells you a Thunderstone, so that's probably where I got it. There's a cave here that has horribly powerful Pokemon in it. Okay, so I guess they kept the Cerulean Cave, and we're going to the cape right here, and before we do anything, Zane here is like, YOU AGAIN! You're still snooping around Kanto? I would have thought someone as strong as yourself would have wiped out the Kanto Gym Leaders by now. Well, I have two having challenging the Kanto gyms. I think I'm finally ready to end this. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so this is a... <laughs> okay, here we go. Trainer Zane, and he is not happy. He does have some pretty strong Pokemon right here. Alright, let's go. Flamethrower. Look at that. Kicking ass, taking names. Let's just continue on Heracross. Oh, wow, he has a Heracross? That's awesome. Okay, so that's another one down, and he has a Lapras. Okay, so this Pokemon is no joke right here, so let's go with Sparky. And Thunder Attack. Paralyzes him, and 
Thunderbolts for the win. There we go. Look at that. Sparky has been a good addition to the team. And here he comes out with his trademark Pokemon, Porygon 2, the one Pokemon that just kept on healing and uh, changing its typing and all that stuff, but not no more. Look at that. Hound Doom. Okay, so this could be a risk, but no. Umbreon. <laughs> I'm making quick work of this guy now. Back then, I would always struggle with, like, something. And, of course, he would always poison me in the process. And here we go. Uh, come on. There we go. <laughs> yeah. That was easy. Hmm. That's impossible. I still can't beat you. Wow, this guy is just like... Ah, I swear! The next time I meet, I will trash your Pokemon so hard, they will never be able to battle again. Well, you beat me. You can have this HM I found. It's It lets you dive underwater. Okay, so look at that. We got dive. Have you uh, seen dark patches underwater in the place? Dive can, yeah, can go underwater and explore. But remember, this has to have the earth patch before you can use it out of our, our battle. Until then, okay, so we can't use dive just yet. Wow. This, wow. Okay, so... One thing this game has taught me, too, is that I have to be prepared with anything. I have to have... A lot of healing items because these bastards make you work for everything. Okay, so Sparky, let's go. Let's see, Route 24, here we are in the cave. This is looking nice. Look at that, and well, let's see. I could go to the Cerulean Cave, but I kind of don't want to because that right there is a mission in itself. Let's see, this right here is just like, whoa. Holy crap. And look at that, we found ourselves an elixir. And right here, we're gonna be battling some trainers. Yeah, we will. Okay, let's speed through this. We're gonna have to speed through it. And Dudley is here, and yeah, all these Pokemon are just crazy strong. Holy crap, okay, so. We can go right here and grab this, and we found ourselves an orange male. So it's nice, and. Battle her. Oh, okay. And if you go slash attack, sing attack, Pokemon Trumli, Super Potion, Ellen DeGeneres will never beat me. There we go. Granbull. Okay, here we go. Great Scott. Quick attack. Look at that. Ellen DeGeneres has been defeated. Okay. Yeah, this game has really taught me to just bring a lot of extra items because, yeah, you're going to be battling a lot of trainers with a lot of strong Pokemon. Some Pokemon that you you will never ever see on a regular trainer in any in-game. And, yeah, I'm almost excited to see where this all takes me. Let's see, here's number three, won't be easy, don't care, because you got yourself a Tangela and I got Flamethrower. That's right, he's coming out with a Vaporeon, so let's go with Shroom Lee right here. Mega Drain. Oh shit, never mind! Okay, Thunderbolt. And you are paralyzed, you asshole Pokemon you, look at that. Okay, so that's another one down, and oh, let's see. Oh crud. Getting tired? No, I am not. They're always starting with some grass type Pokemon. This is good for Godzilla and coming out with a Pidgeotto, so let's go with Sparky. And Thunderbolt. Look at that. Blossom. Oh, crap, baskets. Alright, Godzilla. Stun for, of course. That was my fault. And Flamethrower for the win. Look at that. Look at that. And look at that. Okay, so. Holy jeebus. Holy jeebus, this game is just like, really taken it to the next level. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. God damn. This game is like, awesome. Okay, so let's see. Before we battle that guy, I have a feeling that there's something interesting here. Could be wrong, I don't even know. Nope, you can headbutt this, but let's see what kind of Pokemon you find here. Same old Pokemon. 
kind of hoping that they would like change it up and just bring out something new, but it's the same old Pokemon. Okay, so let's move on right here and keep on battling these people in the cape. And uh, well, let's see, I'm number five. I'll stomp you. I'm gonna just press through this. He's coming out with a Nido King. I can't beat him with that. So let's go with Latios. And there's that Mega Horn that's super effective. And bam, Nido King defeated and level 65 for Latios. That's right. Okay, so wow, how many people are there? In the last line, I'll tell you I'm tough. Okay, so whatever. Easy flamethrower right here. Look at that. Parasect. Eat this flamethrower. There we go. And level 60 Sparky. Let's go. Flamethrower. And look at that. Look at that. Okay, okay, alrighty. So that's another one down. And this guy must be the leader of all these bastards. Oh, wait, he has nothing to do with these guys. Okay. So he's thinking he can beat us just because he um, he thinks I'm tired and stuff, but no, flamethrower. Right attack on me, slash attack, and metal claw. Look at that, I'm using every move now, and now I'm not tired. I never get tired, what the hell are you talking about? And crap. Yeah, I don't have a cut, so I'm gonna have to come back there. Alright, battle this guy, you took... You took on one more battle than you expected and you won anyway. As promised, here's your prize. We get ourselves a nugget, which is good. And prefer But after seeing you how you battle, I want to see how I fare. How about it? I'll take you on. Okay, let's go right ahead and take this guy on right here. And, uh, well, he's not offering us to go to any team, so we're just going to be battling him. And let's go with Erwin. And you miss, so here we go. Surf attack. Keep it uh, straight right here. Dragon Claw. Rain Dance. He's doing me a favor. Look at that. Yeah. Erwin is just going to destroy everybody right here. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Pretty good. Very, very good Pokemon trainer right here. And that was a great battle. You and your Pokemon are truly outstanding. So that's pretty much it for that guy. And this is exactly where you'll find Misty eventually. But right now... She's not around, so let's see. Feel Seaside Cottage. And if you talk to this guy, hmm. You know, you know Bill, he's my grandson. He's in Johto. He does something with PC, so I'm a house sitting. He started up a business here. Trainers can go out back into a cave and dig around for TMs. It only costs $2,000 per play. So you want to play? Sure. Okay. These rules, you ha you are given a shovel to dig around. You may dig until the shovel breaks. You get to keep all the TMs you find, so you want to play? Sure, why not? Okay, so we're going to get a shovel right here, and we're going to start looking around for TMs, I guess. Okay, so... I was kind of wondering what this hole was all about. Wow, so this is like... Wow. Okay, so we found ourselves a PP up. So we're digging everywhere, and TM37, I don't know what that is. Let's see. No, I don't want to dig there. TM19. Who knows, you might find a rare item right here. TM20. Okay, look at that. I thought this was, I thought this was gonna be bigger. And the game is over. Okay, so... Thanks for playing. Okay, so let's see what these TMs are all about. Um... Let's see... TM19 is Giga Drain, and TM20... Oh, wow! So we got ourselves a pretty good move. And a TM... There was another move. Okay, so I don't remember what other TM I got, but I'm pretty sure it's a Detect. Okay, alrighty, so that does it for this episode right here, guys. I kind of feel like there's a little bit more to this than just what we saw, so... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stay put right here in Cerulean. I think we're gonna be going straight to the... Uh, we're gonna be going straight to, whatchamacallit, the power plant. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>